Now, what I thought would be fun to talk about today is what NASA's planning on doing beyond the space shuttle. Things like the first manned mission to Mars. Before we can set out to explore the solar system, we've got a few minor problems to overcome. Not the least of which is, every time we launch, it costs the U.S. taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes? If you want to save money, why don't you land the booster rockets instead of letting them drop in the ocean? <laughs> That's a cute idea, but uh, it's not technically possible. Why not? Well, it's hard to explain. The math is pretty complicated. Perhaps I could help you with it. <laughs> I bet you could. <laughs> I bet you could. I'll tell you what. Here is a NASA patch. Why don't you have your mom sew that on your book bag? People often wonder why I chose to pursue a career in theoretical physics. I usually respond by saying I wanted to unravel the inner workings of the universe. Yeah, perhaps when Captain Kirk said to boldly go, he meant in one of those. Huh? But the real answer was I wanted to prove this nincompoop wrong. Right. Beat me up potty. <laughs> With my research complete and my ulcer on the mend, all that was left to do was send my work to NASA and wait to become America's scientific sweetheart. So I waited. And here, near Apogee, we gimbal the engine to exert a torque that executes a pitch-over maneuver to flip the rocket by 180 degrees. Well, that's very impressive. Thank you very much for taking the time. I'm not done. Oh, uh, sorry. Needless to say, we use a PID controller to minimize the dispersions to the landing site. Anything else? Yes. I'd like a glass of water. It's time to take my Xantec. This is groundbreaking work. Thank you. And? And? I thought you might want to apologize. Well, why? You tried to shut me up with a patch. Well, I give those to everyone. And, and you have to understand, Sheldon, that, that while your math is, is theoretically correct, we don't have the technical capability to execute it. So I'm ahead of my time. Well, it would appear so. All right, call me when you catch up. I can go now. For the first time, SpaceX has successfully landed its Falcon 9 rocket on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean. SpaceX founder Elon Musk called the event an incredible milestone in the history of space. Elon, the CNN reporter's here to talk to you. Hang on. Send him in. 